Conditions are going to be just a little soggy as we go throughout those early morning hours. You can see a lot of beneficial rain working in as we go throughout uh, much of the morning, especially with the rain getting a little heavier at times. A bit more scattered in the afternoon, but either way, plan on some soggy conditions all throughout the course of the day. Exact track radar showing the rain getting a little closer to us. Uh, probably will take a couple more hours before it becomes steady across our uh, backyard. But as you can see, plenty of it working downstate from us. Uh, even some heavier showers near St. Louis. A lot of that then slowly pushes northward overnight. So even though the rain's not quite taking hold just yet, it's just around the corner. And thankfully, we don't have to worry about any storms or severe weather. This still is severe weather preparedness week. So typically, we don't see our severe weather season until April. And roughly April to June is when our tornado risk seems to be at the highest. After that, we kind of transition more into flash flooding over the summer months when we have much more in the way of humid air and some overnight storm complexes able to draw upon that. That said, we definitely see it this year. Severe weather can strike at any time of the year if conditions are right. We saw severe weather in February and in early March, so uh, the time of year doesn't necessarily matter if the weather conditions line up just right, which is why we talk about severe weather preparedness week in early March. Now, it's just regular rainfall coming through late overnight. You can see after midnight, showers becoming a little spotty, but they're definitely in our backyard. Then after sunrise, that rain becomes slowly more and more steady, as you can see after a couple Couple waves of rain. We got some heavier showers working in by the end of the morning, and then those will stay steady into the early afternoon before we slowly dry out from there. By tomorrow night, we should be completely done with the rainfall and picking up a decent amount of it, about a half an inch of rain, some spots a little closer to three quarters of an inch, and that is definitely beneficial because we had a very dry February. Latest drought monitor update that comes out every Thursday still shows that uh, near drought conditions in some spots, anywhere really highlighted in yellow here, it's about a step away from drought, but with all of these spring shower chances, especially coming tomorrow, that'll definitely help help get rid of some of those near drought conditions. So really no escaping the rain throughout the day. Temperatures basically holding steady. Plan on the mid 40s, uh, really from sun up to sundown. Wind chill in the upper 30s thanks to some breezy winds. After that, more typical March weather for uh, Saturday too. As you can see, the mid 40s there. A little closer to 50 on Sunday, then right back into April conditions next week with highs in the 60s. More rain possible next Thursday. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do see conditions dropping slightly around St. Patrick's Day into the low 50s. Speaking of the low 50s, that's what we forecasted for today. Still managed to hit the dartboard though. Cash total over $100, and we hope to build that up a lot more over the course of the month.